and we'll see if that works. Hello, everybody. Alrighty, so I am trying to live stream on Facebook and it is not working tonight. So I'm hoping that this recording will work and that we can share this webinar with everybody. It is Friday night, middle of September, super exciting uh, week that's been uh, just behind us. And I'm, of course, looking forward into this week coming up, but it's going to be hard to top this week. Got to go away and visit a friend uh, out in the States and uh, see a, a friend and, and client, I guess I could say. And uh, that was just such a beautiful experience to be able to actually be in person and give hugs to people that you just work with online. And um, it was beautiful because I was, it was so, uh, just so wonderful to be in the energy of someone. And I realized this morning when I was doing something that I had been manifesting this and uh, wound up being able to speak to uh, at a conference today for a hundred people that um, were all healthcare providers. And it was something I was invited to in January and um, I, I had been looking forward to it. And so I got the opportunity to be in front and with people in a collective space of healing at a conference. I was like the last speaker. I got to tie up the whole sort of week for them. And uh was such an amazing experience and as I was up there on the stage talking I realized that my vision you know of just sharing this knowledge that floats around in my brain with as many people as I possibly can was such a was it was really such a vision for me I it's like I I um I felt as though I was up when I was up there today that I had already been there I wasn't nervous at all about going I I just knew what I was going to talk about. I just, I had a feeling that everything was just going to work out perfectly. And it so did. And it's just brought me to this beautiful realization of, of what this Virgo new moon is all about. And that's really kind of getting into your, your authentic purity, your, your oneness, your wholeness. And it's come into, into fruition in such huge ways for me this week. Thank you. Thank you. And you've been part of this. This has been amazing. It's been absolutely wonderful. Um, just having, um, having the ability to, uh, to be able to come out and see you there, Samara. So that's wonderful. Thank you so much uh, for uh, allowing that to happen and uh, facilitating that as well. Good evening, Melanie. Welcome. Glad to see you. I'll, uh, I'll throw you on mute for now, just because I am just recording. I'm hoping that my recording won't shut off halfway through, and I apologize if it does and it's distracting. I have I don't have a lot of space on my computer, and for some reason, YouTube and um, uh, Facebook are not allowing me to live stream. It's like Mercury Retrograde is doing its final little push here and giving me computer troubles. It's It's been an interesting day. I should have tried... Um, uh, tried to send a little energy workout to the computer before I logged on today. So we're going to talk about some great stuff tonight. I was just giving a recap of what a wonderful, amazing week this has been. True manifestations coming into play, seeing such shifts with uh, clients that I've been teaching and people that I've been working with. It's been absolutely huge. And it's been such a beautiful experience to see this um, this energy coming in the Virgo new moon is really all about sort of getting back to that authentic self that we know that we are. And we're going to get some assistance from cosmic energy in seeing a lot of this this week. So for a lot of people, when I kind of give these daily forecasts, it could truly be any time in this next week, you may have already been experiencing some of this yourself, just because of the way the planets are moving. For some people, you'll find it strong and right in line with day by day from what I'm saying, but others, it might just be sort of this general um, idea of what's happening. And the support that we have going on cosmically right now is just really to show us our inner light, to show us our inner um guidance our inner um intuitiveness and how powerful it really is we have a lot of feminine energy kind of washing in and just enlightening us amplifying our skills and our gifts and so 
if I can say anything about this week, it's to be as creative as possible, to be spending some time doing those things that you really just love and allowing flow, allowing that flow to happen. These opportunities opportunities are going to be coming in, especially early next week, mid next week. Um, we want to be really clear on what it is that we want. We want to be able to ensure that we're taking some time and creating some space so that we can actually really make those discerned decisions for long-term goals, for bigger picture goals, to be able to really break free from our old patterns of what we would normally say yes or no to, and to really decide if, if what is being offered to us as an opportunity is truly in alignment with what it is that we want to do and where we're going. So with this weekend coming up, Mercury is going direct. And so uh, here's my computer feeling this Mercury going direct. It's like this little extra push or purge at the end of all the things that we need to be aware of with being prepared. You know, I could have spent a little bit more time uh, making sure that the computers were going to be the God, the computer gods were going to be working with us. Um, making sure that we are having conversations that are meaningful and that when it's in retrograde, we kind of notice that um, some things can go awry. So we tend to be a little bit more careful. It's not a warning sign. It's just an amplification of being um, discerning with our words that we're using, that we're actually speaking from the truth of our throat chakra, the, the truth of our, of our pure virgin selves, our preserved, you know, whole encompass self that we're that we are preserving that that we are working with this virgo energy and the virgo energy also really allows us to um make particular plans as as, as especially as far as um physical and non-physical reality kind of like being re um responsible for your assets you know the the all of these little these talents and these skills that we have that we actually really are making our next steps part of our reality, that we're actually taking that aligned action that we're not just doing, but that we're actually doing the things that we love. It's really important this week to stay in that frequency. We still have six planets that are in retrograde, which allows us a lot more mucking through a lot more paying attention and a lot a lot more amplification from a lot of these planets and the schumann frequency is really high there's solar cycles that are really high right now um today in fact is a master day when you take the one five the oh eight and the two zero two three and you add them all together it becomes a 22 and that creates what we call a master day so today is not only new moon not only a master day not only when mercury goes direct again um but actually when um some post shadow phases are starting to come out from that and then we move into the new season, the equinox coming up next week. And the week after that, I think 12 days from now is, uh, or 14 days maybe, is the eclipses um, end up starting as well. Uh, so, wow, there's a lot kind of coming up. And so a lot of this transformational energy has been to sort of prepare us for that, to be able to really allow us to start this next season on the path that we want on the track that we want paying attention and giving our focus and energy where it is best served and where our soul is best served so it's just kind of highlighting all of this right now all of the planets in retrograde give us a chance to actually really clear out any of those old behaviors that we're ready to shift ready to change and we're probably really feeling those things that would suppress our greatness you know we're not going to allow that to happen anymore we're just really kind of feeling into ourselves we're getting this self-worth energy coming in um we're getting some bigger picture views like i said you may even be able to see what it is that you really want to create so in our meditation tonight what we're going to do is really allow that new moon light to shine 
on those to shine on the life that we want in a way that we've maybe never seen before with with colors with our crown and our third chakra are aligning so i had this beautiful vision of of saint germain taking this purple crystal crown and putting it on our heads and just allowing it to expand and so we're going to go there in, in the meditation it's going to be absolutely beautiful i'm really actually looking forward to this so um, Mercury is going to go retrograde again in December, so we'll have more time to work through any of the communications that we need to work through, any of the the ways that we need to communicate, any of the things that we need to have focus on. But for now, we're going to get a little break and things will be um, probably flowing. You may even notice that there's more conversation going on um, than normally you would have. It may be hours longer than you'd normally have with someone or perhaps people are reaching out. You may just be spending a little bit more time in conversation with people. And um, with all of this energy that is moving in, these conversations should flow really nicely. And if, you know, if it's not, that's only because these things are coming up to be looked at. They're coming up to be seen. If something isn't flowing, this is where we get to make those adjustments. So it's almost like these retrogrades may be throwing it in our face a little bit, but they're just truly showing us what it is that we need to know, especially as far as, as um, dampening our greatness, really allowing us to uh, come through as the star seeds and the light workers that we are. I think that's maybe even why St. Germain came in, because if we're if we're a person that likes to be in service, um, our our skills and our our um, highlighted um, intuition is going to be coming through for people, especially people who are sort of energetically looking into their intuitiveness, the clairvoyances, the things will be sort of really easily, there's like the veil is really thin, it's really easy, easily attainable uh, if you are putting some energy into it. So I definitely recommend putting some energy into it if that's something that, that you enjoy. Um, I feel like if anything is showing up in life, really anything in any of the way, in any of the ways that's making us feel unstable, this is a way to kind of step back and make sure that we're, we're grounded, making sure that our, we're, our, we have our footing, that we know where we're going, that we're not just walking on the edge of the fence, waiting to see what happens or who pulls us further, that we're actually choosing what side of the fence to walk on and choosing what path is best for us and and really in in our soul's expansion point of view in in our nature and purpose this may involve even having to sleep on something you know if you have a really big decision to make one of the things i was teaching people in the in the seminar today that i taught was the intuition and the sway test so if this is something that you haven't done before stand with your shoulders your feet shoulder width apart and just ask the superconscious ask your body to show you a yes and what a yes feels like and most of the time we feel ourselves rocking forward just a little bit a lot of times if we say show me a yes you'll feel your body almost pull forward and it was really neat to see almost 100 people this morning go whoa that was cool like and these are people that have never dealt with intuition we all have it, it that veil is so thin right now i knew it was a great day to start something like this with people that had never done anything to really show them how intuitive they are allow your your body to show you a yes or a no you can ask for a no too most of the time you rock back a little bit some Sometimes people will rock back and forth for yes, side to side for no. It's just you just feel your body. You can do it seated as well, but sometimes it's easier to feel if you're standing. So, you know, get a yes or no from your body. Get a yes or no from your heart. If you're still not sure, sleep on it and decide in the morning when things are neutral and you can really make that discerned decision because there's going to be so much energy and so much so many things changing and coming to fruition so quickly in the next week or so we're going to really sort of need to be able to be open to all possibilities and to be in that realm of love to be in those frequencies those higher frequencies of love and gratitude and appreciation so if you're not in a place of that don't make any major decisions don't allow yourself to make those decisions from those places of fear or lower vibration energies um venus is really uh, sort of at its brightest and it's also in alignment with mars coming up into the end of the weekend and that sort of allows this harmony between inner and outer worlds sometimes there's been a lot of us that 
have been just a little bit confused, just not totally sure, just sort of wanting clarity on what, what it is that we're meant to do, what it is that we can do. And this move and with Mercury going uh, direct again, it's going to sort of bring through this really deep clarity that we're going to end up feeling. We're going to bring some light onto those shadows. We're going to end up being able to kind of navigate with confidence. It's going to feel a little bit different, almost as though you're stepping into a new identity more and more each day, which is just a beautiful thing. So know that this is supposed to be happening and and really needs to be happening and is happening for a reason. This is all the divine timing and it's all meant to happen right now. There's huge light code activations coming in. There's you know so many things that are just here to upgrade us if we will just slow down enough to allow ourselves to rest. You guys might have even noticed that this week, sleep was really um a big thing it was really needed there was a lot of really high voltage almost when that shoe and frequency goes really high it's almost like zapping energetic people and they need to sort of repair from that and and digest and and re um reconfigure it's like letting the the ios system actually update and we can do that by resting if you feel like you need to rest, especially if you're really exhausted. And um, I've had a lot of people reporting, uh, waking up with dreams of people that have passed. They're, they're seeing like things out of the shadows of their eyes um, or peripheral vision, um, but also sleeping like the dead, like really having, um, I even had a night where I was practically unconscious. My husband wakes me up every night wakes me up every morning and says goodbye and I woke up this one morning and I was like normally I hear everything he does in the morning I'm up exactly when he's up even if I'm just still kind of lying there with when I open I was unconscious like slept like the dead and I had some reports from other people and some cosmic uh, influences that I chat with and we create these weekly plans um, also mentioned that sleep was going it was uh, a heavier type of sleep that was happening for people. And that was because those upgrades were happening. It was like going into this sort of deep sleep. So allow that if you can. Often the new moons, I'm wide awake and have a really hard time falling asleep. Last night was uh, a, a little bit of an example of that. And I know that around new moons. So I have to make sure I don't go to bed too late, that I shut my phone off early, that, uh, that I'm not being drawn back in to be looking at it before I go to sleep, making sure that I'm uh, allowing myself to really do a supported sleep um, uh, plan and that may be something that that uh, you feel is necessary too there's probably a reason that I'm mentioning it so uh, by the time we get into Monday we're kind of into this really spiritual beautiful realm so it's a really cool day to have a, a reading if you have an appointment with someone if you have some self-care things you can do spa wise anything like that something where you're actually really um allowing some insight to come through if you have if you're into your tarot cards or rune stones or something go ahead and play with those you know just have some fun meditating really um, allowing yourself to enjoy Saturn's energy, Saturn's in retrograde, and it's it's sort of sending these big life force waves through that are kind of helping us to accept our responsibility for our, our current direction. And what I mean by that is we may go through a bit of a forgiveness period where something we are having to realize is that if we're not where we want to be, we were the ones that sort of put ourselves there. And that can come with some, some grief and some shame. And, you know, there's some, some emotions that have just been coming up in my field as I've been preparing for tonight, thinking of those emotions exactly. And allowing us to see that even though maybe we wanted something really really quickly that we would be happy and fine if it came a little bit faster that everything is coming in very divine timing and the pace is perfect for us it's happening exactly as it's supposed to so sometimes the universe will even slow things down a little bit for us so that the, the best possible solution is still in the work so that it can work out in the absolute best way. Um, I, I think of even um, a, a personal story with my husband who has always kind of wanted to 
move out west and he's really loves the mountains he got he manifested the perfect job they offered it to him he took it but they gave him a different position at the exact same time at his at his work and it called him to stay home here and he was really having a hard time with the decision because it was like everything i wanted it was but it's just maybe not the right timing so something inside him told him to to give this a try first before he went out west and it broke his heart to not just jump on the plane and just go but it's worked out so well and i feel like it was just a step i mean yeah we're gonna make it out west but maybe this is not the exact timing maybe it would work out even better if it was next year maybe something about the other guy that went is going to give us some kind of insight as to what it is that is going to make this even better we just have to trust that everything is happening at the exact timing that it's supposed to be there's always kind of something bigger brewing but this week we're really there's really big stuff brewing and we're really going to kind of be feeling it um neptune is what we say is in opposition with the sun so what happens is is it ends up sort of making this this line that amplifies some of the energy and with neptune also being in retrograde this is just allowing us to um remind us of our place in this cosmic energetic field that your gifts are so important that you are here for a reason that you are expanding your soul and it is affecting so many more people than you could possibly imagine just by being in their lives just by doing what you do you are a huge cog in this clock of life in this machine that we need to be able to increase this beautiful cosmic collective energy what you're doing is so important so Things are able to to really easily materialize when things are lined up like this, which is why I'm so passionate about really knowing what it is that you want, really feeling into what it is that you want to create in your life and staying focused on that, holding your chips on that on that bet, allowing that Care Bear stare, as I always say, to build up some momentum. Hold it there as much as you can. We always joke that it only takes 17 seconds to manifest something that holding the energy on something builds more momentum, builds more magnetism in only 17 seconds. Imagine just being able to commit 20 to 30% of your day of actually really manifesting what it is that you want. This is the week to do it because things are, um, dimensions are close the veils have thinned the help is there the cosmic energy is right there just helping us it's like next level leveling up insight is coming in that we possibly never even would have imagined and that is what we have this joy of being able to kind of stay in tune with and in hopes of with the equinox coming up everybody's probably kind of felt the change of weather they're sort of feeling this season that we're moving into um garden they call this the harvest new moon gardens are coming to fruition so i had a big insight aha moment in my garden yesterday where i was looking at my tomatoes and noticing some of the spots on them and stuff where birds or bugs had picked at them or what have you because i left them on the vine a little bit long they might be a little bit overripe and i always for anybody that knows me knows i'm always referring to my life as what my garden's like and i have way too many tomatoes and i'm like what did I manifest? So I manifested planting way too many tomatoes because I was just planted the whole package and and uh, decided that I wasn't going to do a real variance. I'm cursing myself for not planting celery. And then I was going through my list and I actually did plant it. I planted a lot of things this year that just didn't grow. The As soon as I would plant, we got a hailstorm. I'd plant again and then we got rain washed out for three days. And then I'd plant again. And, you know, at one point I just kind of had to give up. I wasn't going to have enough time in the season. To, to grow the plants I wanted but the tomatoes managed to survive they were so strong I put all my attention on my tomatoes and I was like oh that was very fruitful I have so many tomatoes I don't know what I'm going to do with them all I'm having to just put them in a bag in the freezer for right now because I've got sauces and salsas and everything everywhere my kids are asking me to please stop feeding them tomatoes there's just so much there's it's so plentiful how could I have planned for that a little bit better? You know, maybe having my jars and, and making sure that I was, 
I was ready for all the tomatoes I was growing would have been a really great thing. And so I look at that in life too, right? Now that all these things are happening, um, it, it, it's really just this season where we get to sort of sort through. I get to, I don't have to keep all the tomatoes. I can get rid of some of the tomatoes. I can, I can cut off some of the tomatoes and just make sauce out, out of what I need to and just cut off the spots. So this is kind of the sifting sorting time that we have to go through as well with life, with purging. Do I need all these tomatoes or can I get rid of some? Maybe I can give some away. Maybe I could even sell some, make some extra income, right? Maybe people are really wanting homegrown tomatoes. Um, the, the ability to be able to cleanse and purge right now especially on this new moon is going to enable us to bring in what it is that we're really ready for and when we're hanging on to everything and trying to do everything all at once it can be very overwhelming and we need to understand that we can really do anything just not everything so what is that anything that we want to do when we get into our meditation which we are going to do right away we are going to talk about what it is that we really want we're going into this equinox so this is all about cleansing clearing cleaning decluttering our mind our body our life what is what is it in our body that we can be decluttering de you know deprogramming clearing cleansing a lot of people are like uh, have been asking you about about parasite cleanses and and getting back in sync with their cycles and seed cycling and all this kind of stuff again really paying attention to what it is that we're putting in our body feeling into does that feel good feeling into that soul nourishment that conscious um conscious eating you know like the meat um I was telling Samara just the other day, I drove past these turkey trucks and it was like you could just feel the pain coming from these turkeys that were being carded. And I was like, oh, I'm never eating a turkey again. And she told me about a movie called Earthlings that will probably turn me back into a vegetarian for sure. And I think about it, I was a vegetarian for 25 years because I just didn't resonate with eating meat even as a kid. Really didn't like the way steak felt in my teeth or didn't love eating meat. And that was probably because it wasn't in resonance with with um, my my consciousness. I just, I just felt it wasn't necessary to eat animals. And I'm sort of really getting back to that place again. I We made the decision to change because my kids were at the point where they wanted to try meat. They were five and six and really wanted to try it, ate it at grandma's at Easter. And then they turned into literal, literal meatitarians after that. That's all they wanted. Well, one of my kids, the other one still could do without it. But what I'm saying is each food has a consciousness and that consciousness is going to affect our consciousness. So if we're being really conscious of what it is that we are putting into our bodies in that way, it's going to feel good. It's going to feel right. It's not that we're having to cut everything out and you have to cut out sugar and dairy and everything. You can't have anything good in your life. Nothing sweet. You know, it's not necessarily that it's, it's what feels good. What is nourishing my soul and really getting into that consciousness with yourself, really connecting into that. Um, it may be a bit of an emotional week, especially sort of near the end of the week, just because some of these shadow aspects have been being shown and they're, they're going to um, show us where we've been sort of maybe covering up some emotions or maybe some beliefs even some that may still be running our life that we didn't really think were. So what we are to do, especially into the end of this week, is really become aware of our repetitive thoughts. Those thoughts that are getting more of that magnetism, more of that care burster, more than 17 seconds in a day. What is taking our focus? What are we focused on? If we can... Um, if we can take a few minutes each day, do a little bit of meditation, uh, Virgo's an earth sign, so really get it out into the earth. Enjoy this this weather, especially if you're in the northern hemisphere, because it is going to be just changing and shifting on us, especially into getting colder. Southern's obviously a little bit different where they're heading into um, their summer. But when we can really get out and enjoy that ground, <laughs> our crazy cats. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know about you, Melanie, if you have animals too, if they've been absolutely loopy loon lately, we're ready to sell our cats to the nearest bidder or perhaps even give them away. <laughs> Because especially a few days ago, holy holy camoles, animals are definitely um, trying to purge something. I don't know what's going on. Exorcisms may be going on, something along that lines. But they're so affected by the moon's energy, and so are we, right? Especially your little girl. You've got that right. Um, and they are just so unbelievably cute. Special cats. Oh, my goodness. Special, special cats. So, yeah literally ask yourself am i thinking a positive thought am i thinking a negative thought am i in those frequencies of the higher emotions love joy abundance gratitude uh, um, anticipation excitement <clears throat> or am i in those lower vibrations of fear of anger of grief of shame of empathy apathy even so really noticing that self-talk the universe is always watching it's always got that spotlight on us. So every vibration, every feeling, it's sensing and it's just bringing more of what it is that we're bringing in. This week is just going to be happening to bring in a whole lot more than it usually does. So really monitor if you are feeling off, it's because you 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 probably need to just go inside a little bit and allow yourself to really see what that is that is throwing you off ask yourself those questions is this a part of me is this what is that part serving what is that emotion serving a lot of times it's just our limited beliefs there's so many things with our limited beliefs that are connected to our thoughts and our emotions of not pushing forward or not allowing ourselves to really create from this place of love um the the recode process that we do is something that can literally just touch on all of these clean and clear that all up in the field so we don't need to know exactly what it is so i feel like it's really important tonight to do this meditation to do this recode to really clear the fields to clear resistance any resistance holding us back and to really amplify our crown and third eye energy centers to allow us to envision this life that we really love in a way that we never have before. So if you guys are ready, I would love to just guide us through a, a small meditation. I don't know why my nose is getting all stuffed up. Things are moving through the system already. This has been such a crazy wild day. Just being in the field with so many people um, all day has just, it's really, uh, really just lit me up. It's like, uh, I just feel the energy buzzing from underneath my feet as I just even planted my feet on the ground. It was like, zzz, like this, um, this charger that I just put my feet on. So I want you guys to imagine that as well, planting your feet on the ground, just feeling the charge of the earth's energy as it hums through your body and just allow yourself to envision your belly expanding as you breathe in just expanding that belly out, bringing out, bringing in all that oxygen from the universe, from the earth. And as you breathe out, breathe out through the mouth, deflate the belly and just relax all your muscles as much as you possibly can. And breathing in again, just feel your feet touching the ground. I want you to imagine as you breathe in, it starts to make roots grow out from the bottom of your feet, branching down, down deep into Mother Earth's energy, just feeling your body connecting with her beautiful vibration with that hum that is now sending the light codes needed up into your body, up through the feet and the ankles and the legs, and just have that feeling start to wash all over your whole lower body, your upper thighs your pelvis just imagining earth's energy starting to charge you starting to literally power you up like you can see the battery buttons starting to fill and so you can feel those bars starting to load up again as that charge is coming in and just feel that starting to come up into the energy centers into the root Relax your pelvic floor, relax your butt where you're sitting. And let this energy still float up from the earth, from those roots, through your feet. 
and into the lower belly and back into the pelvis, into the pelvic floor, just filling up those batteries, recharging as it moves up into the upper belly, into the solar plexus and sacral, allowing that charge to start to come up, just refueling anything. This is just re re energizing, drawing our energy back. We're tapping into the earth and letting her fill our cup back up, letting her refill our energy stores that have been drained, that have been feeling burned out, that have been feeling emptied and just let those charge buttons, those charge bars start to move up into the heart and into the shoulders as you start to feel your body filling with this beautiful juice, this battery, this energy. Feeling it come up through the arms, the upper arms, the hands, into the shoulders and into the throat. And imagine that energy, those bars starting to charge all the way up through your brain and through your skull and through the top of your head, all the way up as if the earth's energy is starting to grow roots out of the top of your head now into the cosmic energy of the new moon. And imagine that this new moon is lighting up these veins and showing you how beautiful and light this amplification of this spotlight of the universe can be on your body. Notice it lighting up your whole body. Notice it lighting up the darkest of caverns, the deepest of cracks the most packed down of shadows. It's starting to light things up in a way you've never seen before. Starting to light up some of these things that we're ready to let go of, some of these people maybe that we're ready to let go of, some of these wounds, some of these scars, some of these things that have been keeping us in victimhood. Some of these things we're just truly tired of feeling. And just let the absolute beauty of the new moon light start to shine on some of those things that just haven't been feeling good. Letting the moon's beautiful feminine energy do its work. I want you to feel Black Moon Lilith come in underneath that new moon, guiding you with strength and power, showing you your witchy self, tapping into the divine, tapping into the divine feminine energy in every way, the creativeness, the giving, the receiving, the birthing, just allow her energy to bask over you in just illuminating any of those shadows even more. And as she comes in and this power really starts to emanate every cell of your soul, I want you to imagine that you're on a path and that you're just going for a walk in a beautiful green forest. The green forest itself has a frequency that is much like a muting of cement. It's like taking away any of those concrete worlds we've been living in and allowing us to completely be engulfed in green, in lushness, in living, breathing trees. And I want you to just imagine being grounded right inside of a forest path. I want you to hear what you may hear, whether it's a little babbling brook, maybe there's a lake behind that you can only hear, but you may not be able to see. Imagine if the birds are singing or if insects are making noise, if there's some wildlife scurrying around or what the breeze sounds in the leaves of the trees and just noticing what some of those trees might look like. Are they just leaves on those trees? Are they fruit trees? Are there things growing around you that you can see, that you can smell, that you can touch, that you can feel. And I want you to just have this new moonlight start to almost pull you down this path, like this moonlight is trying to guide you to an opening beyond this path. And I want you to keep walking down this path until you see this opening and in this opening is this beautiful purple lavender field. 
It could be other flowers, but that lavender color is there. The violet color is there. It's like the most beautiful meadow that you have ever seen in your whole life. And it looks like there's this purple flame far off in the distance. And I want you to just imagine yourself moving forward, stepping one foot after the other towards this purple flame. Notice what your feet are brushing against. Is there a path within these flowers on the ground? What does that path look like? Is it just grass? Is it just a, a worn path where people walk or is it stone? Just notice what this beautiful meadow looks like with these amazing purple flowers and how they smell and how they feel so soft. And you can even reach down and pick one and hold it in your hand for just a moment. And as you move closer to this purple flame, you notice it's coming towards you as well. And as it gets closer, I want you to notice that it's actually St. Germain. St. Germain with his beautiful violet light. St. Germain is the saint of healers. St. Germain has a special gift for you. It's like he dances inside of a purple flame and moves within this purple flame. And you can see a shadow bend down and pick something up from deep within the flame, like it was just being heated by this gorgeous violet flame. Or enlightened, maybe charged, supercharged. And as he starts to come up, I want you to notice that in his hands, he has the most beautiful crystal crown for you. It could be more like a tiara, it could be more like a crown. But St. Germain is the, the saint of gems, and I want you to notice this big, beautiful teardrop-shaped gem that's hanging down from the front of the crown that is going to rest down on your forehead, right above your third eye, right on top of your third eye. And when you're ready, I want you to bow down just a little bit, saying that you're ready to receive this crown, this gift, as you know, it's going to be just amazing. And you can almost feel and sense that his hands are getting closer to your head as you feel this glass, like a glass slipper almost, be placed on your skull that was fit perfectly for you. It's been molded, it's been formed. It may have jewels, it may be even more gold or diamond. I want you to notice what your crown looks like and what kind of gem is hanging down. I can see some hematite and some, it looks like um, turquoise. I see some citrine and some amber, some nice big beautiful pieces of amber that are resting on the forehead. Feel that coldness, the cool feeling of a big flat gemstone resting right smack dab on your third eye as this crown starts to form to your skull, starts to open the crown chakra, starts to cause magic to happen. You can feel this transformation throughout your whole body. It's like this crown is almost like a, like a, a superhero button or a superhero outfit that you would put on that starts to transform you into this new identity. And now I want you to imagine being able to see through your third eye without opening your eyes, see through your crown chakra, see through your throat and your heart, these upper chakras. I want you to just allow the visions that come off like a kaleidoscope down in this field. If you were to just imagine what you could see, what are the things that are most important to you? What are the things that light you up? 
just reflect on that for a moment. What are some of those things that just light you up? What do you just love doing? Maybe you've only discovered some of these things this week. What's something this week that you've discovered that you just love doing? You kind of thought you did. What new discoveries are you coming up with? What old discoveries are you coming up with? What's something you used to do way back when that you just wouldn't mind trying now? Maybe it's even drawing. Maybe it's painting. Maybe it's something you haven't tried since you were a kid. Have you had any urges or any callings to try this? And allow this, this kaleidoscope of this crown showing you these visions to just play them out in this field like it's your absolute playground, like it's the realm of all possibilities. It's the field of wonders. It's the land of plenty. Anything in the world that you could imagine could be in this space. Now, what is it? that you want to call in? What kind of magic do you want to bring in your life? What is something that you really want to create more of in your life? Envision this now as yourself doing it, just like something that you've manifested. Really imagine that you're there right now. Be in this place that you know you can create. Be in this life that you are confident that you can create. Be in this life that you just want because you want it, that you just enjoy, where you're doing things for you, where you're spending time with the people that you want to spend time with. What does that look like for you? What is important to you in the mornings? Is it rushing off or is it maybe taking your time? Is maybe taking a little bit of extra time in the morning something that could be useful to you? What is in your land of all opportunities, in the land of all possibilities? And I want you to notice that your crown, that this third eye is showing you things in color in ways that it hasn't before. It's showing that you're ready to create at a magnitude that you never have before. It's showing you your gifts. It's showing you your purpose. Allow this to come in front of you. What are some of the things that you're always told you're good at? What are some of the things that you just feel really good after doing? Could be just having a conversation. This doesn't have to be building a Taj Mahal. This can be very little things. It can be spending time with certain people. And allow this crown to really cleanse, clear, and transmute any of the energy centers. Just allowing that crown's energy. It's like this magic force that's recalibrating all of your energy centers right now. If you guys are okay with me connecting with your super conscious field, this field of all memories where everything has its place for wisdom. I'd love to just ask the superconscious to tag and treat any resistance in the field towards just really seeing our vision, seeing our true purpose, seeing what will truly make us happy, what a life we really love looks like. Just allowing us to play in the sandbox, creating a perfect treatment plan and a perfect order towards where we want to go, where we're dialing in our GPS and really make a true choice right now. Just choosing to let myself expand, to let my soul be this guiding light for myself and others. To be of service, to create my soul purpose. doing a massive change history on that. Just allow any parts of us, any of those mama bear, those protector controller, the disbeliever, the believer, the teacher, the student, the inner wounded child, 
the inner healed child, the teenager that went through stuff in school, the ornery teenager perhaps. There's all these parts that are still a part of us. Notice what you can see with this kaleidoscope energy through the third eye, any parts that are standing out right now. You can even ask them what they want, what their purpose is. And going forward, knowing that they're safe, please allow all, all parts to see that this is the safest, most beautiful way of expansion, that we are really ready for this, that we're ready to embrace the wisdom all of the teachings, all of the learnings that we've had. We're ready to bring in everything in divine timing, everything we've been asking for. And treating all of those parts, just creating the perfect treatment plan, perfect order, creating the most amount of satisfaction and the absolute least amount of pain doing a massive change history around all parts. Creating this peace, this harmony, tagging and treating any emotions or events, experiences that we may have had that prevent us from just going for it, prevent us from believing in ourselves, prevent us from forgiving ourselves or prevent us from moving forward through some of these limiting beliefs tagging and treating all those limiting beliefs as well. I'm not worthy, it has to be perfect. I'm not good enough, I'm not capable. Just feeling that right now, just allow that to shift, just take a nice deep breath and just feel as your body accepts, cleanses, clears, transmutes and recodes the subconscious with this information and do a massive change history and all that and everything that's needed and tag and treat any body systems and resistance to just being able to be our true self our true authentic self any of those fears tagging and treating fears Tanging and treating our body systems, the circulatory, the nervous system, all of the organs, all of the endocrine system, hormones, muscles, bones, ligaments, joints. Just allow our crown to light up any of those areas in our body that need a little bit of special healing. And imagine that the magic juice can come down from that crown and go directly into any part of our body that needs that extra light, needs that healing, needs that cleaning or clearing. And take the time right now to just go through the body with a little scan from head to toe, just noticing anything that's causing discomfort, that's calling for some energy release right now. Any areas that are talking to you and just Imagine that crown dripping down onto those areas, allowing that healing to start to happen. And Superconscious, please treat any of those energy centers, anything left, anything connected, any cracks or tears in any of those meridians, energy centers, or radiant lines. Letting the light come through from the crown, repairing them from the inside, Repairing them like a new vase, all being held together with gold. Tagging and treating any identities and beliefs left in the system that have been causing resistance in the field. And as this crown starts to imprint onto your skull, like a permanent fixture, like something that cannot be removed, I want you to just feel the beauty as it starts to turn you into this new identity, this superpower, this head to toe goddess or God, this head to toe connection with source, 
like you're absolutely plugged in in every way, shape, and form possible, right to the stars, directly to, and right to the earth, like this supercharged cable that's just moving energy through. Just allow this to continue to purge anything from the system that needs to. And imagine anything that is being released from the body is just seeping down into those roots of the earth and the earth is taking any of that dense energy, any of that charge that is no longer serving you and recycling that back down into the earth's energy. And I want you to look at yourself like the most beautiful lit up crowned goddess queen that you are king that you are what does that person move like what does that person do to take and make choices that are going to serve them every day ask the superconscious field for an action step that you can do this season into the equinox what is going to be uberly important for you to stay true to yourself to stay true to who you are to stay true to your path, to keep you on this path, to be your guiding light. What is something that has worked for you in the past? What is something that you're ready to embrace into the future? What kind of seeds are you going to be planting in this season? Hmm. Even in the winter, you can plant garlic, you can plant bulbs as they root down into the earth. They, in fact, need that winter's blanket, that season, to become what they are going to become in the spring. What seeds can you be planting? What bulbs can you be plunking into this universal energy, into this week? What is it you want to cultivate? When you see this end result of all these seeds being grown and harvested again in the spring. What are you going to want to do? Are you going to have going to want to have a variety? Are you going to want to have a well rounded garden? How can you do this? What are these seeds that you need to plant now to really be where you want to be come spring? Even come Christmas? Just to get us to winter solstice, where do you want to be this fall? Where are you going? Where is your energy going to go? What are you going to commit to, to focus on? Superconscious, please tag and treat anything else in the field that needs treating. <clears throat> I feel some stuff around the throat chakra, so I'm just going to keep giving some energy work around there. This may have to do with speaking and communicating, really having to speak your mind and let go of that fear. Tag and treat that fear around speaking our mind, superconscious, cleaning, clearing, transmuting all the clutter from the throat chakra, all the things you've held back and not said, or perhaps all the garbage that we say to ourselves that we're ready to just ugh, get rid of. Being pure with our word, noticing if we're judging others, noticing if we're judging ourselves, really keeping that respect and that clean and clear energy for ourselves. Superconscious, please do a massive super recode on anything else in the field that we may have missed this evening. We're going to ground all this into the matrix into, of the universe, into memories and timelines one, two, and three, unconscious, conscious, and superconscious. Take a few nice receiving breaths. Feel that energy flowing. I can still feel the, almost like the coolness, the dampness of a gem sitting right on my third eye. I think it's my sinuses clearing that I'm feeling. So as soon as I started talking about the gem and the crown, my sinuses started acting up. So just notice these things. Notice where your body is wanting to purge, where it may need some support. You may end up um, having some insights just as you're doing these 
creative things, whether it's reading a book outside on the ground or listening to some music while you're just lying on the ground or going for a walk, listening to some music, or just listening to nature, just being in that beautiful state is when you're going to come up with these breakthrough moments, these aha moments and my body's releasing like crazy now. One of the things I kept saying of, over the last couple of weeks is we're either headed for a breakdown or a breakthrough. And this is a breakthrough that is just there for so many people to take on a collective level. So many people are shifting right now. It's been absolutely insane. People that aren't doing the work, people that are doing the work, children, it's just been an absolute level up. I mean, kids are getting back to school. It's time to learn, you know, it's time to really, um, it's almost like we had fun in the summer, the Leo season, so light and fun. And as we move, move into Virgo, it's like, okay, let's get serious. Let's make some lists. We're going places. We are loyal. We are, you know, trustworthy. We are hardworking. It's time to get those lists going time to get back to school. It's time to start doing math. You know, it's math time. Recess is over. Time to have some, some serious schooling because there's some big shifts about to come. The, these eclipses um, hold power for shifts that are just absolutely amazing. So I want you guys to just be able to really be treating yourselves like this um, clean, clear vessel that you are really pay attention to what it is um, that is being called forward for you, whether it's um, changing something that you're doing or, you know, bringing something else in, it's going to be shown in a different way. It's not just going to be like, oh, go take a dance class. It's going to be like, oh, there's this class and it just fell into my lap and there's one space and it got offered to me and I feel so good. Like, go do it. Just go do it. Follow your heart. And if you're unsure about it, maybe sleep on it if it's not giving you that ultimate yes or no, but tap into your intuition because it's here as our teacher, as our guide, and it's ready to be showing us some pretty um, amazing uh, insights and breakthroughs if, if, we stay, um, if we stay rooted and grounded and just enjoy this energy that we have that's pushing us along and guiding us along with this right now. So I hope that was helpful for everybody. I hope that um, that meditation was okay and that you were able to leave your crown on. I just felt like staying in that meadow with uh, St. Germain, with the violet light, with the just staying in there, just being able to keep on envisioning, keep on allowing yourselves to really see um, and live it as as the present moment, live it as it's right now. That's truly why I didn't bring us back from that space because we're there right now. We are there. Allow yourself to stay there. Thanks so much, Melanie. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here. I am going to throw this recording on our Facebook groups if I can get Mercury retrograde to calm down long enough for me to um, upload these videos. So if you aren't on my page yet, awesome, I love it. Yes, yeah, stay there, stay there. Just keep creating, stay in that beautiful space. Keep seeing. And the more we keep seeing it as we are actually living it today, it's just going to keep materializing. That's where the Care Bear Stare is going. Um, so Magnetic Soul Life Coaching is the uh, is the free Facebook group that this webinar will be loaded onto. And uh, if you are not a part of that yet, definitely uh, reach out to me or I can throw you guys an email to make sure that you are on that group so that you can get all the Friday night recordings. And if you want access to the group recordings, we also have that too. So um, it's just a different uh, paid group where we do sessions every day. So um, feel free to absolutely let me know if that's something that uh, you don't have access to yet. We can make sure we get you there and just have such an amazing rest of your new moon weekend here 
and uh, we will see you guys next week. Actually, I am lying. Next week, next Friday is uh, Equinox Day, and it is a day where I can't actually do a live recording because I am working that evening at another event, but I am going to throw something in the group so that we do have a recording and a meditation for Equinox to just be uh, brought in as peacefully and as um, abundantly as possible. So there will be a, a recording, but it won't be on live on Zoom uh, next week, just to let you guys know. So I am sending such big love. Have an amazing rest of your weekend. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in one way, shape or form next week. Mwah. Take care, everybody. Thanks again.